Here at Web Rooms, our vision is to create a world where low self-esteem is a thing of the past and confidence is a wave of the future, while leaving a charge and expansive diversity in luxury retail. Hello, my name is Archie Clay III, and I'm the co-founder, CEO of a luxury fedora hat company called Web Rooms. Web Rooms is built on the foundation of faith, family, and confidence. In 2010, I lost my grandmother to cancer, and I realized I wanted to create a foundation and a legacy for myself and for my family. Fast forward six years later, I reached out to my business partner with the idea of creating the number one hat company in the world. But we also realized that there were a couple problems. Number one, lack of innovation within tech. Number two, inaccessible due to out of reach price points. Number three, no newness, no new styles. And number four, none of us. But the solution that we came up with, redefine customer experience in Millennium via app, Increase prices, price accessibility without compromising quality. Continue to be the, continue to act as trendsetters in the hat energy like we do now, and expand representation to suppliers and models. Our market size: the pair of energy is a three hundred eighteen billion dollar industry. Accessories ninety four billion dollars, and our industry three billions. But you might ask me, why do I have all these other markets on here? It's because wear brims is the future. This is the future for wear brims where you want our customers to come into our store, our retail store, or e commerce and stay there. Our current business model, direct to consumer sales, e-commerce, retail call summit. We are the first African-American hat company to be positioned in Nordstrom's and pop-up shops. Our greater market strategy, retail, events, brand partnerships, design and collaborations, PR, influence and celebrities. Our competitors have been around since the 1700s. Same styles, same styles. But Web Brims is here to change that. We want to give you new styles and new looks. Our competitive advantage, us as the founders, our Brims family. We have over 20,000 customers within our database. Our hats have been seen on Eva Marcel, Lance Gross, Carrie Hilson, Sedger Entertainer, and Chris Paul. Our design and color aesthetics, as you can see on the screens, our hats look amazing. Luxury within reach our amazing collaborations, and being tech forward. We want to create an app that aligns to our customers for our customers to be able to see the hat physically on the head before they purchase. This is our customers thus far. Our current our sales. Last year, we did 240K in sales. This year is forecast to do 80, 80, 800K in sales. 2023, 2 million. And 2024, 4 million. This is our team. We've been featuring amazing press and features. And our brand family love us. Our customers rate at the 4.9 out of five stars out of 423 reviews. Our current ads, 150K. 100K for production, 30K for app development, and 20K for marketing. We exist to instill unapologetic confidence in everyone, one brand at a time. Thank you. And welcome to the Web Brands family. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you so much for that great presentation. Um, the, the question that I have, you, you have, um, uh, you sp sp spoke about a lot of um, celebrities and influencers who um, have access to your products. What are, you, what are you doing to market? And you also talked about price accessibility, right? So right. to me, it seems as if you want the common person to be able to purchase and wear um, the hats. Exactly. What are you, um, wh while still maintaining the quality, I, I really respect that. Um, the, the immediate question that I had was, what are you doing to ensure to the consumer that if an influencer or a celebrity is wearing it, that the price is not out of reach for them? Well, so that's the main word. So we didn't focus on celebrities and influencers. That's not our main focus, right? It's, a, it's of course, an alignment to our market strategy, but we're pushing our product through the story and our, our creative designs and aesthetic, right? So for us, we built our foundation and our customer base before we even had the celebrities and influencers or whatever that looked like. That's kind of a now strategy. We just kind of started really getting influencers and celebrities on the uh, bandwidth from last year. But like our product is built on a foundation of like faith, family, and confidence, where we want to let people know that you can be confident in wearing a fedora. Fedora doesn't just align to just wearing it with a suit. You can wear it with a hoodie, you can wear it with a sneakers, but also just making sure the customer understands that our hats 
are high quality. It comes with a um, orange a hat box, a dust bag, and a pen. So we want to create that whole experience within that that process so our customers feel comfortable and stay in customers. Like for example, our customers, we have a, a, a 40% return rate for any time a release or a drop for our current customers within our database. And yeah, hope that answers your question. Yeah, uh, dude, you're looking uh, really, fl really, really fresh. Uh, you're really wearing them brims, eh? I love it. <laughs> uh, great presentation. Uh, for me, I, I just want to say uh, congratulations, brother. You've done really, really well. I like that you already in Nordstrom's, uh, so you already you've already done some done some sales. So I think you're on a great path. And for me, on this one, I'm just saying kudos, man. Uh, okay. I appreciate you, what you've done. Thank you. Cool. Um, I have one. I just have one question, really. Like, um, you know, definitely seems like a business you can grow, and I think crowdfunding is a good angle for it because if people want it, they should it should help you help support the creation of the production um do you see a world i know you have your own retail locations but you know how do you think about um you know distribution through like other existing retail channels like as the company grows like how do you think about that in terms of scaling out your opportunity well that's a great question um like so i said we already have nordstrom's and uh even markets as our retailers um, so I think honestly is to focus on those two and work with Blue Dells and Sacks and stay within that realm. But also we want to focus on consignments and not consignments, but boutique stores as well, because we don't have a store right now. Um, and we know that customers want to touch and feel our product. Right. So we want to work on like high end boutiques within different main, main, main of our main markets like L.A., D.C. We have other than Nima Markets and North Shore, we're in a boutique in um, upstate I mean Manhattan, New York as well. So we want to focus on those small boutiques so our customers can go in and touch and feel, but also expanding our Nordstrom's and Neiman Marcus. We're only in three doors for Nordstrom's and we're only in six doors for Neiman Marcus, right? Mm -hmm. So we have so much opportunity to grow those markets, right? So just focus on that. But in addition to e-commerce, of course, building that out as well, but also our app is going to be another way we can generate sales, right? We want to create a technology where we're already in the process of creating a technology where customers can actually see the hats on their head, just like Wabi Parker, we can see the glasses. Mm -hmm. realize, like, of course, we don't have a store right now. People want to see it, right? They want to see how they look in it. So we want to give them that accessibility, right? We also have another idea that is currently working on a patent. I can't really discuss it just yet, um, but it's going to help us really increase conversions because we know that customers really have a hard time finding different sizes. So we want to build a technology around that as well. Awesome, brother. Thank you so much, man. I really appreciate um, the presentation. Um, and I'm definitely going to be buying me a hat, man. You're <laughs> Thank you, guys. Your time, guys. Thank you so much.